Rolls-Royce electric flying cabs, robots with adjustable legs, smart cities. These are just some of the technologies featured in Expo 2020 that were held in Dubai. If these ideas have intrigued you, then we've got more to tell you. In this video, we're going to share all the highlights from Expo 2020 Dubai. From new robots to other high-tech gadgets, we'll reveal it all. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you to like what you see, then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. Expo 2020 Dubai, the world's most extraordinary showcase of incredible technological achievements, concludes in Dubai. The name was kept from the previous year's event, which was canceled owing to the pandemic. For the same reason, the present show was planned with the utmost security in mind, with more than 150 service robots and other security measures in place. The robots on display at Expo 2020 are a brainchild of a Chinese tech corporation that specializes in artificial intelligence. They all have two parts, an upper section with gadgets and a bottom part that supports the robot's body. The upper half of the robot in this scenario is supplied with fundamental capabilities for general usage and specific features that are unique to each robot. For example, some are in charge of sterilizing, while others are in charge of logistics, some are in charge of visitor communication and so on. The Opti robot is an autonomous mascot that uses artificial intelligence technologies. In just six months, 50 wonderfully friendly robots were built according to the show management's plans. The compact, elegant, and human-safe robots can run for more than 24 hours on a single battery. Because Opti is meant for communication and amusement, the small orange robots performed group dances and flash mobs throughout the show, including a Halloween performance. Talbots was in charge of the food and beverage supply at Expo 2020 Dubai. You may purchase meals from your favorite restaurant on the Talbot website by indicating your location, and robots will deliver complimentary water and ice during their spare time. Security officers were among the robots, while patrol robots were in charge of the show area and a unique metro station for Expo 2020. The automobiles are outfitted with HD cameras, infrared cameras, and an SOS button for facial recognition. Visitors were also urged to respect the safety precautions due to the challenging epidemiological condition. Other more adaptable delivery robots performed tasks like handing out maps, exhibit brochures, complimentary refreshments, drinks, and voice informing guests to answer queries. Finally, no high-tech event would be complete without a barrister robots serving coffee to attendees. All robots are waterproof and can work in temperatures. When their battery runs out, they return to the charging station dock on their own and recharge without the need for human assistance. It enables artificial intelligence computers to work around the clock without human intervention or oversight. The terminal group has also negotiated a long-term lease for District 2020, the smart city of the future. Located at Expo 2020, the firm will open its first international headquarters outside of Asia. While there, Terminus will improve the city's hardware, install new software, and create its artificial intelligence of things. The pavilions at the show were likewise taken aback. At Russia's pavilion, the topic of the creative mind was a significant brain depicting the universe's most complex phenomena, allowing you to make discoveries. A robot orchestra performed Beethoven's music in the German pavilion. Hundreds of words emerge and disappear on the exterior of the British pavilion which was made of wood and dedicated to artificial intelligence. Each phrase was written by visitors using a tablet within the structure. Every minute, a neural network creates a new poem from this array. Uptechies Panda and Walker humanoid service robots were the focal points of the Chinese exhibit. They chatted with guests, briefed them about the pavilion and China's accomplishments in smart cities, space, and agriculture, and delighted them. The robots are all designed on the same platform, with 41 joints that allow them to walk do gymnastics, calligraphy, and interact with guests. By introducing the industrial internet of things, MindSphere's smart city solution was exhibited at an exposition meant to digitally optimize Expo 2020, enhance the tourist experience, and minimize energy and water usage throughout the six-month event. Simon created the solution, particularly for the display. MindSphere's smart city began by focusing on environmental monitoring and irrigating thoroughly irrigated trees while conserving water and electricity. Over 200,000 sensors are now linked to the digital infrastructure. The Internet of Things connects more than 130 buildings over a four-square-kilometer region. 
Subsystems connect hundreds of thousands of sensors to the core IoT platform. The exhibition's organizers claim that the initiative conducted here might one day serve as a model for smart cities worldwide. The Hyperloop capsule will be available for visitors to test out during the exhibition. In the future, travelers will be able to travel from Dubai to Abu Dhabi in just 12 minutes. This project will be completed by 2030, according to the announcement. The smart mirror solution was demonstrated at the exhibition by the Dubai Islamic Bank booth. A smart gadget is as tall as a human and has a rectangular form. You may see your personal financial information in seconds by standing in front of it. Biometric technology recognizes the client by face or fingerprint. According to the pavilion's founders, clients will trust banks not just with their financial data by 2050. Several pavilions at the show feature urban gardening and vertical farming ideas. Visitors to the Expo's Banking of the Future Pavilion are shown the expanding possibilities of quantum computing and banking. The danger of financial crime and fraud has grown enormously due to cybersecurity concerns. According to the organizers, the challenge of managing data and getting actionable information in real time will increase with the advent of 5 grams and connected devices. As customer transactions increase, so will the challenge of managing data and getting actionable information in real time. It is where the opportunities for quantum computing come in. The China Pavilion hosts a drone display every night during the fair. In other news, Rolls-Royce has declared that electric flying cabs will be available within three to five years, far sooner than we had imagined. But we're not talking about flying automobiles here. We're talking about the engines the business is developing for short and tiny electric planes. By 2030, the industry hopes to have developed technology that would enable it to go 400 kilometers on a single charge. Autoflight, a Chinese business, has released a video of their autonomous vertical takeoff and landing cabs made in flight. Before landing, the eVital Prosperity lifted off and shifted from an upright to a more energy-efficient horizontal launch. Prosperity Surge reached an operating speed of 200 kilometers per hour after climbing to a height of 150 meters. The drum is intended for short flights and is expected to be available by 2025. The Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich's Laboratory for Robotic Systems demonstrated a customizable leg design for walking robots. Using a simple mechanism, the leg may easily swap between several states. Engineers should be able to expand the robot's capabilities by adding new duties and methods of movement as a result of this. Cornell University engineers have shown a device that detects orders given without sound. The device hangs around the chest and uses an infrared camera to receive information from a person's lower jaw. The data is processed by a built-in CPU, sending the command to the smartphone through Bluetooth speech and module. The gadget is intended for usage in busy environments when issuing orders by voice is challenging. Furthermore, researchers from Western Ontario have taught the robot to pick mushrooms better than a person. The gadget has a sophisticated vision system that can detect a mushroom's maturity based on its size. As a result, the robot can pick up the right mushroom without destroying its fragile structure 24 hours a day. Russian researchers demonstrated a solution for human drone interaction that improves accuracy and flight path prediction by 15% while raising the average degree of control recognition by 70%. Drone archery can be used to swiftly deploy a swarm of drones to calculate plant growth indices land cadastral estimations, and inspections of cell towers and bridges. The design includes three mini drones and a wrist tactile display glove with reflective indicators. The tactile display is the prominent feature, which identifies and communicates signals from the drone to the operator, improving control quality. There was a myriad of robots that got launched at Expo 2020 Dubai, and it just goes to show the many inventions we're going to witness in the upcoming years. That's it for this video, guys. Please like it and share the video with your friends. If you're unfamiliar with our channel, please subscribe and click on the bell button. You'll never miss a video from us again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.